All right. For our viewers at home, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your beautiful film? Uh, hello, my name is Alka Nikolova, and I am um, a documentary filmmaker. Uh, my film is A Question of Survival and explores the legacy of the Holocaust of, in the Balkans, told through the stories of three Bulgarian um, Jewish survivors from New York. Where did you find your subjects? Because personally, these were my grandparents' friends. I mean, I don't know them, but, you know, just watching this documentary, I mean, it just brought me so much joy because I remember hearing stories like these and just their mannerisms and just their personalities It brought back such great memories. So where did you find your subjects? Well, I live in New York and uh, New York has a very large Jewish community. Um, in this particular case, the Bulgarian Jews that I met are Sephardic Jews. So there is a difference between the Ashkenazi and the Sephardic Jewish community. So um, I was um, very impressed by their uh, sort of stories, but also like the way that they are um, about their thought process and sort of their struggle to put their story within the larger context. So it, it became very interesting to me um, to explore, you know, to explore their stories in, in, in film. Where did you start? Where did you decide I'm going to start the film here and then I'm going to end the film here? Because growing up Jewish and growing up hearing about the Holocaust and doing studies, you don't hear about Bulgaria a lot. You always hear about Germany, Poland, um, you know, place Austria, places like that. So you don't really hear about the Bulgarians or their struggles. So where did you decide I'm going to start the documentary here and then I'm going to end it here? Um, I am Bulgarian myself, and I lived in New York since 94, and because I didn't, uh, at the time, Bulgaria was a communist country until like 89, so we didn't even know much about the Holocaust, and also we didn't know, as Bulgarians, we didn't know the story of the Jews, you know, talking about the Bulgarians that we didn't know that, and we're not even talking about the rest of the world. So once I arrived to New York, I was uh, surrounded by, I met a lot of Jew, uh, Jewish uh, friends. I have a lot of Jewish friends here. And I said, learn more about the Holocaust. And I met uh, this Bulgarian uh, lady who introduced herself to me and she um, told me about it and I was fascinated. And, uh, but then I realized that um, the story of the Holocaust is sort of dominated by the story of the Ashkenazi Jews and very little is known about the Sephardic Jews and they are pre predominantly coming from the Balkans and the Arab countries. So, um, so that is sort of like the idea to introduce um, the public to this little known story and this little known aspect of the Holocaust, but which had like very consequential um, you know, results. When you approach your subjects to do this documentary, were they hesitant or they were like, hey, I do want to talk about it? Because, you know, what I'm finding out in my own personal life is, you know, some survivors are like, I don't want to talk about it. It's painful. And other survivors are like, yes, I want to talk about it. Ask me anything. You know, mm -hmm. let's get after it. So what was your experiences like getting your subjects to open up to you? It was sort of mixed. Uh, and you can sense that in the film. I think uh, with Robert Bakish, for example, initially he agreed that to honor his sister. But then when we started talking about it, he kept saying to me, I don't remember. Like when, especially when I asked him about the specific specifics right. of the story, and he was kind of the older of the three. They were all children, five to 17 and teenagers. So they were not like the adults, but they still have some memories. And so, um, Sorry. It's okay. Um, so, but then once we started getting into the details of the story, he started sort of saying, I don't remember and I don't want to talk about it. So that's when the question about question of survival arise because um, all of a sudden, when I asked him that question, it turned, it, it it was revealed to me that he is sort of very hesitant because he felt that, oh, I didn't go through the drama of 
what the Ashkenazi Jews went, you know, in Germany, in, in, uh, in Russia. So maybe my story is not that important. So I feel that they sort of started to minimize this because they were comparing themselves with everybody else. Um, in the case of uh, the other two gentlemen, they were a little bit more willing to talk about it and they were uh, more um, open to retelling their story. But that made for a nice dynamic and sort of, around, you know, about for the question that the film ultimately, you know, is asking, like, are these people survivors, which I think they are, but they are sort of doubting themselves and probably that is survivor's guilt, I don't know. Um, but it's a, it was an interesting process, you know, to arrive at the, uh, the core of the film. You know, when I, you know, personally, you know, talking with survivors, you have that survivor guilt, you know, what is the definition of a survivor? And I think that no matter if you're a Holocaust survivor or sexual assault survivor or a crime survivor or whatnot, I think all, I think the common theme is, you know, what is a survivor? Because they don't want to, you know, say I am, you know, I'm more special than anyone else. What did you learn about yourself professionally and personally while making this documentary after you were back home and the batteries were on the chargers, the cameras were put down for the day? What did you really learn about yourself professionally and personally while making this film? Um, I learned that I am actually very resilient because it took me a long time to complete this film. It was difficult to fund. It was difficult to execute. Um, but I'm really glad that I actually did it because I think it's an important story and it needs to be told. And these little stories need to be told just because we need to get the different perspectives um, that I was you know, really open to learn um, and to expose myself to different points of views and to be able to embrace that because I, I could have easily said, okay, this is, um, it's not going the way I wanted it. So just what is the point, right? right? But I was able, it took me a while to arrive there, I have to admit, because I was like, you know, seeing the film in one way and it wasn't happening that way. But then I, at some point, once I embraced that and I let go, it, it became, you know, what it is today. So I was, you know, I learned that I am, you know, uh, willing to do that. And that's like part of the being a filmmaker and an artist, you have to be willing to follow the story where it leads you rather than um, insist on this is the way it needs to be told, period. Since COVID, how are the gentlemen doing? Are they doing well? Unfortunately, Robert Bak Bakish passed away last year. Um, the other two are sort of hunkered down in their houses and um, sort of waiting, you know, waiting for everything to open up. And um, it's unfortunate because, you know, they're very active people and um, it's difficult for, for them as it's difficult for everybody else. But I really hope that they will have, you know, we will at some point come back to, um, to normalcy. So, um, and they're both like Kyle is in his 90s now and they're both elderly. So it's been difficult to go through this process for them because, there, you know, there was a lot of fear naturally about, yeah. you know, protection and all that. So exactly. Lastly, where can we follow the film? What's the film's website? Where can we follow the film and help support this wonderful film of yours? Uh, the website is uh, www.aquestionofsurvival.com. Um, there is a Facebook page. Um, again, question of survival is uh, the, the handle. Um, I, there is an Instagram account as well as Twitter. So um, if you search under the name of question of survival documentary, um, there is a way to uh, come up. Also you can, yeah, you can, it will come up and also you can reach out to me always. If you uh, need more information or, um, you know, anything like that. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your weekend to join us. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much, Deb. Thank you.